this is the energy vibration reading for the Aries Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the first week of February 2018 and I want to say um, thank you for your likes shares and support and this is your energy vibration reading for this week beginning 29 until the 4th of February I want to say to each and every one out there um, whatever is happening in this week it is the energy of the tower and the zodiac energy of the hair so let's see what you guys are having on Monday I don't know people but there seems to be really the energy of the tower because you are having the ten of swords the ten of swords energy is that you've been stabbed in the back but it's okay let's move on to Tuesday you have the energy of the ace of Pentacles so this is good this is wonderful no matter that you're stuck in the back you got money in the pocket that's okay on Wednesday you have the energy of the two of swords you're seeing something clearly on Thursday you are having another energy of the six um, this seems to be coming up and I've shuffled the card but this seems to be coming up a lot in the reverse form let's see what else is happening we will have the Queen of Pentacles which is good and let's see what is the next energy for Saturday seven of swords in reverse so whoever was trying to get away with something it's not going to happen and then we have the two of Pentacles so here we go this is wonderful so what will be the energies of the Aries for this week it's gonna be the nine your wishes and dreams are coming true for the Aries okay so wonderful ladies and gentlemen let's look at your reading it is a very feminine week for um, you Aries people it's wonderful whatever is happening it's gonna be good it's gonna be wonderful it's gonna be um, positive so um, whatever is happening on Monday that you feel stab in the back it's okay on Tuesday the energy of the ace of Pentacles is going to come up so your financial abundancy is going to be there on Wednesday you have the two of swords you're seeing things very clearly and you are you have been thinking about to leave the situation behind and you're going to do it on Friday you have the energy of the Queen of Pentacles is coming up this woman is a karmatic situation that is going on between you and this woman is a situation that has happened in lifetime and lifetime and you come back to clear the situation up okay and as we look at Saturday the energy on Saturday is the seven of Pentacles um, someone was trying to get away with something but it's not going to happen which is good you have a strong foundation you have the four of Pentacles and a strong foundation you have nothing to worry about and you are looking at the end of the week to see and you have the energy of the ace of swords so this is wonderful whatever the situation that is transpiring in your life let's take a deeper look in your reading you feel stabbed in the back by the queen of pentacles on monday and you you know this is going to bring you some financial um some financial outcomes so uh, that's going to be okay that's going to be all right so not to worry about it because this is going to be good your financial situation is going to be good you have the four of pentacles so if there was a problem whoever was trying to steal something from you it's not going to happen because now you're seeing a situation very clearly whatever situation you're seeing clearly um, you're balancing out your materialistic world and your financial world and your emotional world so this is good and you are moving away from situations that no longer serve you and I'm really liking this because whatever is happening there's a new beginning with a wheel of fortune so um, this is good because your fortune is going to come in um, the energy with the ace of a new beginning with the princess of cup whoever that person is the princess of cup and the prince of um, 
the princesses couple and, and the prince of wands so there is a situation that is happening with the princess of couple and the prince of wands that is letting you to understand certain aspects and certain um, things that will be happening for you okay you have the five of wands and uh, you end up with uh, having temperance and balance so we're going to take a much deeper and closer look to um, whatever has transpired because obviously a lot of stuff has a transpire in this week for you and we are going to look to see what is it and how can you heal these situations that are happening and a sort of a change the focus that is what is going on your wishes and dreams are going to be coming through and there's going to be a new beginning for you guys okay so whatever the situation is or was it is if someone has stabbed you in the back and the nine of the ten of swords is really one of those cards that you really don't want to have in the beginning of the week because you're realizing that a woman has really stabbed you in the back and what is happening and what is transpiring is that someone who is um, a younger person uh, maybe someone yeah someone who is a younger person and uh, a, and a guy who is uh, um, and uh, between the ages of 25 and 45 and is uh, Aries Leo or uh, Sagittarius is going to actually help you out of a situation because they're going to give you some understanding because whatever is transpiring in this week is a karmatic situation with your financial situation but at the end of the day you are going to uh, triumphant and victoriously come over this as we look at the center of your reading it is the four of Pentacles so it's as if you're holding on to something as if you know it's as if um, the wheel of fortune the, the the wonderful positive things have come in for you and as if you're not letting it go and you're not showing your answer but sometimes when this sort of a thing comes up and then I um, um, and look at other people reading cards and they're saying yes you're holding on to something and yeah the, the, then the government is gonna think that it's, it's nothing like that it is that you're or having you know you're holding on to your financial situation because you want to keep that balance you don't want to be out of balance with that sort of a thing and a lot of energies in this week is showing that and I'm sorry it's like four o'clock in the morning but it's okay um a lot of things is as if um there is some conflicts and um, this conflicts can affect some people in a conflict um, um, with yourself because you're trying to decide what it is that you're going to do and um, for some of you it is as if is this um, should I go forward or should I not go forward and as you look at your reading there's a new beginning and a new start with your financial situation and um, the wheel of fortune is going to bring you a lot of success there is going to be a situation where some people are not going to be um, you know supporting you and liking you and being there for you for whatever reason it is but the thing about it is that there is an energy of the princess scuff that is going to come in for you and really um, help support you and teach you how you can bring balance in your life number two and number ten is going to play a significant role which number ten is just one is a new beginning a new start and a positive positive thing because your wishes and dreams are coming to you. so whatever your wishes and dreams was the wheel of fortune is going to bring this for you the wheel of fortune is going to bring financial stability in your world and at the end of the day you're going to overcome so you men um, who have been dealing with a certain situation you're finally seeing the truth of a situation you are leave it behind and you're trying to balance out uh, your emotional self because obviously there's a lot of emotional situation that is transpiring in this week because as you look at this week this week is showing a sort of a sense of uh, um showing really a sort of a sense of uh, 
um, certain aspect and certain situations that are coming in that you're trying to balance um, this out what I'm loving is that new beginning with the wheel of fortune this is saying that with this new beginning and the wheel of fortune what is happening is that whatever karmatic situation that you feel so stabbed in the back in the weekend uh, um, coming into this week you're going to realize that as the week goes on there is going to be people who are going to be really supporting you on your journeys for you men between the ages of 25 and 45 what is happening for you is that you are going to um, be very very victorious over a situation and this is all about you it's all about um, remembering who you are and trying to balance out certain aspects and certain situation of your life let's see what other energies we have um, we have guilt so a lot of you Aries are going to be feeling very guilty about certain situation um, you have made a decision because you felt stabbed in the bank and you have uh, um, you know um, did an action and you're going to feel guilty about it and I'm wondering if you should really feel guilty about it because if it was a situation that you felt so bad about that you had to make a decision over this why are you feeling guilty about this people feel guilty when they knew that certain situation wasn't good and now um, you're seeing that you have made the wrong decision do not make feel guilty about this this is just a situation that you realize that you have made some decision in the past which you should have done differently in the future you're going to have joy you're going to find joy you're going to find joy and happiness and you're going to be leaving this guiltful situation in the past and move on to something that is much more positive and much more better in your life and ladies and gentlemen a lot of people it hasn't been such a wonderful week for a lot of people because um, the energies that are coming out for people it is uh, as if uh, the tower is blowing up a lot of stuff and but, but whatever is transpiring because you have um, the middle of a stable a, a whole lot of you are going to have a lot of strong um, power um, you know you're billing on your financial situation and this is going to be a positive one whatever guilt that you have in the past let it be in the past in the future you are going to have joy because somehow the universal angels and guides are going to make sure that you find the pleasure and the joy in your life um, ladies and gentlemen life is full of surprises there are things that we need to understand there are things that we need to um, accept in our lives and as we realize what it is that we need to accept in our lives we're going to have a best outcome ladies and gentlemen have a wonderful week namaste